chest flies, incline, poliquin, reps and isometrics, dumbbells. A lot of men in midlife have tight and weak pecs, limiting their upper body strength and flexibility. Stretching and strengthening the pecs helps to improve upper body pushing and pulling strength, and also overhead flexibility for movements like handstands. This is where the poliquin chest flies can help. You can play around with the angle of the incline and experiment with the line of the stretch. In this video, I'm using a 45 degree incline and performing a combination of reps and isometric holds with the focus being placed on the range of motion and stretching the pecs, anterior delts and biceps. To do this, the weight needs to be not too heavy, not too light, but just right. The Goldilocks of weights. After setting the incline, lie back on the bench. Bend your knees and place the balls of your feet on the floor, vertically stacked under your butt. Arch the lower back off the bench by moving your shoulder blades down the bench towards your hips. A nice strong arch will increase the pec stretch, improving the line of force production and helping to protect the shoulders. Straighten your arms above your chest with the palms facing down towards your legs. If you have really tight pecs or experience any pain or discomfort, a slight five to 10 degree bend in the elbows can often help. If you don't experience pain when performing the chest flies, you can keep the elbows locked. Slowly lower the dumbbells down towards the floor with your arms at a 45 degree angle away from your head. Your arms create a Y shape. This alignment corresponds with the muscle fibers in the chest and helps to increase strength and flexibility. Continue to lower the weight as far as mobility will allow. Maintain the arch in the lower back and push your chest up for the best results. Once you reach the end range, pause here and then externally rotate your shoulders to point your thumbs towards the floor. This will increase the range of motion and offer a much deeper stretch. While maintaining the externally rotated shoulder position, lift the weights until they are stacked above your chest. Pause here and internally rotate the shoulders until the palms of your hands are facing down towards your feet and you're back at the starting position. That's one rep. Repetitions help to build both strength and flexibility. They also help to increase blood flow in the muscles being worked. After doing a few reps, we can then perform an extended isometric hold at the bottom of the movement to really focus on stretching the tight muscles. Lower the weight to the bottom position. Pause here and externally rotate the shoulders to point your thumbs towards the floor. Push your chest out by pulling the shoulder blades down the bench and then hold this position for the prescribed time, which can be anywhere from 15 to 60 seconds. Once completing the isometric hold, it's best to drop the weights. The muscles have lengthened into a new range of motion that is often weak, and after a long isometric hold, it's best not to lift the weight. Drop the weight and then slowly bring your arms forward as you sit up. I recommend using a light weight that allows you to work through a full range of motion. Far too often, people try to go heavy with this one. My advice is focus on the stretch. Give it a try and see how you go. If you've got questions, please leave them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.